We have just got our first official NBA Live Mobile Season 9 news. As you can see, I'm on the official EA website for the game. I'll leave the link to this and, of course, the tweet I will be going on later on in the video in the description down below so you guys can check out this completely for yourselves. You can go through absolutely everything I'm going to go through in this video, potentially in a bit more detail, and just read it for yourselves. So I'll leave that in the description down below. But this is all official news coming from EA themselves about Season and nine. So we're going to be taking a look at absolutely everything. I'll give you guys my thoughts and opinions about what we could expect to see in season nine, but I'll be clear as to when I'm saying that. So you guys know that that is just me making my assumptions. But first, let's get on to the official news. This is guaranteed stuff that will be coming into the game because it is from EA as a source. You can see we've got new artwork here on the top image. It's a very similar blog post to what we had for the launch of season eight. I'm not expecting a huge amount of changes because of course they haven't really announced any of this stuff. And I'll go on to my thoughts a little bit later on. But as you can see, season nine will launch later this month. So we should expect season nine probably towards the very end of October. I'll go on to a couple of dates later on. We'll talk about what will transfer from season eight to season nine and some of the features that will conclude when season ends. We'll also discuss some details and teasers on what to expect from season nine. So this is what you will keep going from season eight all the way over to season nine. So your cash and your coins will go ahead and carry over. Now, I do know a load of you would love coins to carry over. And of course, cash, of course, usually carries over no matter what. Personally, I don't like the fact that coins are carrying over again. But if you want to stock up on your coins now, try and make some extra coins in season eight before season nine drops because you will be able to use them in season nine themselves. So maybe that's something to take into consideration. Try and stack up on your cash and your coins because then when season nine comes out, you will be guaranteed to keep that going over through the season. Your players will also transfer. However, you will only be able to use them as part of a multi-year lineup in some of the more difficult events, and they can't be used in part of your usual lineup. So very, very similar to what we have at the moment. Those multi-year players can be used in those multi-year lineups. Hopefully there'll be some tweaks to showdown so you're not coming up against multi-year lineups, but that's not guaranteed with any of this stuff. All it's saying is your players will carry over as they have done the last couple of seasons. Same with jerseys courts and boost items those will probably only be able to be used in your multi-year lineup as well you'll also notice this is very important over here so any jerseys players courts and boost items that put your account above the item limit which is currently set at 1550 items i'm not sure whether that's a little bit outdated i could be wrong i need to check in the game but those will be removed from your account so make sure you're going through all the sets taking everything out of those so you know exactly what is on your account and so you're not going over over that limit because they will be converted into credits over here. So obviously stuff that goes above the item limit won't be converted into credits. I think it's the same with your unopened packs. So maybe try and go through all of those and open as much as you can. What you won't keep over here from season eight to season nine is your collectibles, your styles items, which I'm not too sure what styles items actually are because of course your boost items over here. So style items, I'm not exactly sure what they are, but maybe in the comments down below, someone can let me know but I think they had this last time and no one really had a clue as to what it was but they will be converted into credits which is of course what we have at the moment in the game you can use them to buy like pro packs some extra packs here and there maybe instead of watching an advert not sure exactly what they're going to be used for in season nine they could be used for something completely different but as you can see every 10,000 coins equals one credit which doesn't make sense because your coins are carrying over so I think you can basically ignore that one any bronze tokens which I don't think we really have in the game is one credit silver token is two credit gold is three Three, elite four ultra five royal six and super tokens are going to be seven credits over there so you want to be trying to get some more elite tokens upwards to try and get yourself some more credits of course credits i don't know exactly how useful they will be in season nine but it's always nice to have a little bit of a head start going on to next season so maybe try and get yourself some elite trade-up tokens those are very easy to get i'm not sure where else in the game at the moment you can try and get yourself some more tokens so maybe elite tokens are going to be the best way of getting some extra tokens again unopened packs if you open them and get yourself some ultra tokens or royal tokens 
from the promos that we have had previously. That is, of course, going to be very beneficial to what you're actually getting from this conversion into credits going on into the next season. This is the only sort of stuff when it comes to dates that we've got guaranteed. It says temporary closure of the auction house. As we conclude season eight, we will begin closing the auction house and the ability to post any new auctions from October the 25th. This ensures any existing auctions can finish their listed times before season nine begins. And before I go on to the end bit, I will just head over to Twitter over here or X as it's called. As you can see, EA posted this, I think the day before they posted this blog post. They said the auction house will temporarily shut down for scheduled maintenance on October the 30th, 11 p.m. PST. Now you won't be able to post new auctions from the 25th of October till maintenance is over. So when I initially read this, I thought, okay, 25th of October, 11 p.m. PST, which is the day I'm recording this video, you won't be able to post any more auctions on the auction house. So if you wanna put stuff up on auction house, make sure you're doing that before this day over here. That's the 25th of October. And then by the 30th of October, the whole game might shut down. Now, this is me speculating here because it does say auction house will temporarily shut down for maintenance. I'm not sure whether that's just the auction house or the game as a whole, but that could be a time when the game shuts down completely. And then maybe we get a brand new season Season, either 31st of October, maybe early November or something like that. There's no dates as to when season nine will come out. And when EA put this out, rest assured your cards will remain intact when the auction house reopens. I kind of knew that cards will carry over between seasons, but that came out a day before this blog post. And this just gives us confirmation that of course your cards and players and all of that stuff will carry over to next season. So we don't know exactly when it will release. Of course it did say that it will launch later this month. So maybe October the 30th, October the 31st, could be when we expect it to come out that is just me making a speculation you guys can drop in the comments down below when you predict season nine will drop but as you can see we must temporarily take the game servers offline this is what we usually have i think recently it has been a lot less time it's taken for the servers to be down i think back in season one and two it was like one or two days possibly even three days because they were changing so much stuff whereas now because it's sort of just changing the ui changing the designs and all that stuff is a little bit quicker as we go through this maintenance so it shouldn't take too long but of course they usually the last couple of times haven't really had a set time when season nine will drop i might try and stream depending on how good my wi-fi is when the game actually drops so make sure you've got notifications turned on when season nine will actually drops it says stay tuned for upcoming announcements if we do get any big news i will of course be making a video on that the game takes a short pause of course that is what's going to happen of course they're on their social medias you've got them here the discord x facebook and instagram if you want to go ahead and follow them my discord server as always is in the description down below and in this blog post there isn't really any news about new features new designs any of that sort of stuff so i'm not really expecting a huge amount when it comes to season nine i'm guessing it'll probably be just a rehash of season eight of course there's always the slight chance that it does happen and we do get a brand new game or anything like that but i'm not really that optimistic when it comes to that sort of stuff especially considering we've had basically the same game from season five all the way over to now being season eight or the end of season eight so i'm not really too optimistic with any of that stuff but you guys are entitled to your own opinion maybe you guys are expecting some brand new update with season nine and the game but personally i'm not really expecting anything big so you can't really get let down if you're not expecting that sort of stuff that is pretty much all the news we have so far regarding season nine of course the goat promo did end a couple of days ago i did manage to get myself the grandmaster i've been a bit ill as you can probably tell by my voice so i'll hopefully have those videos recorded and posted somewhere soon hopefully before season nine actually drops i'll try and get some content lined up if the game goes into maintenance just for you guys to watch but in the meantime if you want to go find out exactly what shaquille o'neal would look like in the modern nba i went on 2k25 and simulated his career the video should be popping up in the bottom left hand corner and i'll see you guys in that one peace